Hey guys, what's going on? Wayne here. So it kind of took a little bit longer than the construction industry as a whole, but the construction trade show circuit kind of hit back into its normal-ish kind of stride. I mean, just in the last few weeks here for construction pros, we went to a GIE and we went to the ARA rental show here last week. And a couple weeks before that, we were in Louisville for the Utility Expo. And there was a lot to see at each of those shows, including the machine that we're gonna be talking about in this video, which is a very big deal to the company behind it, Sani America. At the rental show 2021, Sani unveiled this, the SLB95, a machine that represents this company's official entry into the backhoe market here in North America. And with this machine, the Chinese manufacturer has taken really the same approach that it does with all of its machines. Undercut the competition on cost and value proposition by only equipping its machines with the features that it feels contractors actually need the most. Or as Sani puts it, everything you need and nothing you don't. Now, in terms of size, Sani has definitely picked that sweet spot in the backhoe loader market for its first entry. The SLB95 is a 14 foot, three inch dig depth backhoe, weighing in at 17,637 pounds. It's powered by 95 horsepower, 3.6 liter, tier four final Deutz engine. That is the TCD 3.6-L4. Bucket breakout force on the SLB95 is 12,354 pound feet, while the front end loader bucket has a breakout force of 11,240 pound feet. And as a 14 foot backhoe with those specs in tow, the Sani SLB95 is really aimed at going head to head with, with some of the most popular backhoe models on the planet, including the Cat 420, the Deer 310 SL, and the Case 580 Super N. And in terms of the spec sheet, Sani has actually done a pretty good job in terms of making sure that the important numbers either match or are at least in the ballpark of the same numbers found on those competing models. So hydraulics, engine rating, operating weight, breakout forces, four-wheel drive speeds, etc. All of it pretty much matches up very favorably to those more established models on the market. So after hearing all of that, you might be asking, okay, well, where are the cost savings coming in? Well, essentially, Sani is positioning the SLB95 as a good enough machine. It's not top of the line. It's not state of the art. And honestly, Sani has no real kind of interest in producing a machine that is top of the line or state of the art. It's, it's comprised of off the shelf components that while they're not the latest and greatest, they are pretty proven and they come from kind of supporting supply chain manufacturers that you've heard of. For starters, take the transmission. While CAT and CASE make power shuttle transmissions standard on their 14 foot backhoes, Sani, like Deere on the 310 SL, has opted for a more cost effective power shift drivetrain that still provides clutchless shifting, but at a lower cost. Now the SLB95 uses a ZF four wheel drive transmission with four forward speeds and reverse. The axles are produced by CF as well and top speed in fourth gear is 22 miles per hour, offering easy self-transport between job sites or parts of a job site. Now, another way that Sani is cutting costs with this machine will probably go over pretty well with most contractors out there. There is no real electronics or kind of technology in general to be found on the SLB95. Now, there are no standard telematics to be found on this machine. And while electrohydraulic controls are kind of starting to become an industry standard in a lot of different machine categories, Sani feels they're pretty unnecessary at this point on a backhoe. Now, that's part partly due to the added cost and partly due to the fact that Sani has actually heard from operators that they prefer the feel of pilot controls anyway. But here's the thing that might surprise a lot of folks out there about the SLB95, or at least it kind of surprised me, is the fact that just because Sani is definitely kind of cutting some corners and omitting certain features to pass on cost savings to the customer, it doesn't mean that they haven't provided a pretty nice standard feature list on the SLB95. For starters, that ZF transmission does feature a limited slip differential and a drive shaft guard. And the pilot controls are bolstered by load sensing hydraulics with ISO and SAE pattern changes. The hydraulic pump is a Kawasaki variable displacement unit with a very capable 41.2 gallons per minute of flow at 3,625 PSI. Again, right up there in terms of spec sheets with the best of the competition. Plus, Sani has also included a breaker line auxiliary circuit as standard on this unit as well. Another nice bundle of control features that are found on the SLB95 are boom float, which 
definitely comes in handy when you're backfilling and finishing, and a return to dig function that gets your bucket exactly where you want it between cycles so that you're speeding up your overall cycle time. And look, while features like boom float and return to dig are becoming more and more common in the industry, it's definitely not something that I expected for certain to see as standard equipment on this Sani backhoe. Sani also includes flip over pads and cylinder guards on the outriggers of this backhoe, and there are eight LED working lights. It's also equipped with a rotating beacon and traffic lights. Now, as you'd expect, a ROPS FOP certified canopy is standard on the SLB95, but it does include an air suspension seat with retractable seatbelt. Now, a sealed and enclosed cab is an available option, bringing climate control and Bluetooth radio with it. Now, the SLB95 is backed by a four year, 4,000 hour warranty, and that applies to whichever of those time periods comes first. Now, the company has also made its daily checks and maintenance points easily accessible on this machine, as you'd expect from really any modern backhoe. But what about other maintenance concerns, such as, you know, parts availability or servicing? Well, Sani is continuing to grow its dealer network here in America, but let's say you're in a place that, that doesn't have a local Sani dealership. While you can expect, you know, full service from a local Sani dealership, if you don't have one, that's kind of part of the reason that Sani has used so many off-the-shelf parts from, from places like Deutz and ZF and Kawasaki. Using those parts, you should be able to find them kind of piecemeal easy enough, and you should have a technician in your area that has experience working with those parts. So again, it's not the perfect solution in terms of the type of service that you would come to expect from a from a larger dealer network, but it is something that Sani has put a lot of thought into, and it kind of underscores the importance of those off-the-shelf parts and the suppliers behind them. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap it up here for your very first look at the Sani SLB95 backhoe loader unveiled just last week at the ARA Rental Show 2021. Hopefully this video answers all your questions, at least until you can hop into one of these things and give it a spin yourself. But if you have any further questions, be sure to hit us up here on all of these social media channels that are listed here on this graphic and be sure to give us a follow on those channels as well. If you're watching this video on YouTube, be sure to do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new machine video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We always appreciate your time and we'll see you in the next video.